Hello, my name is Sergey, and in this video I will show you the beginning of the work that I'll be doing on this accordion. Um, so let's get started. So this is an Italian accordion and um, I need to repair the right side. Uh, the, valves, some, the valves have padding and some of them are even missing padding. That padding needs to be replaced. Basically, if you open it, if you try just to pull it, see that you hear that sound? That shouldn't be there unless you press those keys. So let's get started. We're gonna open this. By the way, this one goes straight. This, I'm gonna pull it a little closer. Um, so you can see better. This screw, the thumb screw goes normal, but this one was at an angle. And I already took it out just to see. And what I see, the reason why it's at an angle, this has metal insert, original metal insert, that puts screw in a uh, perpendicular square to the surface. But this one has just a plastic piece insert. I think that's the, probably broke off. I mean, it, I'm sure it's broke, broken off and just replaced with a plastic piece. It works, it's not like, um, it, it sits there pretty tight. So somebody did a quick fix and it worked. So put this aside. And now let's look at the valves and their, the pads. So we're not, this maybe. You can see for this guy and this, the pads are even missing. The pads are those pieces. This guy's under the valve. This guy's called valves, keys, linkage to the valves and the valve itself. So to, we're gonna replace all of them. And the reason why it's better to replace all of them because they are, they were installed at the same time and so if some start to uh, degrade and fall apart i think the others will do the same pretty soon and so since we're working on it why don't we do all of them so on this guy there is a cover here that we're gonna open and see the axle the the axles I took off that cover and we'll use pliers to pull them out. So let's start with this guy. What I do here, if, if you don't do that, sometimes they start popping up and they fly away. So. Well, it goes, it seems to be okay. Let's try the other one. Oh, that one is tight. So, in this accordion, they're coming out okay so far. If you see, you can't pull it, you start turning it. Don't go like this. Always rotate the same way. For that, in those cases, I don't use this pliers. I use the pliers that just snap on like, like I mean they clip on something something like that so you adjust the tension so it, you don't crush the, the wire completely you just grab on it real strong and so and then it stays on it and I advise to buy something light so that even if you let it go it doesn't bend the axis if it's heavy instrument when axis halfway out you let's say you let it go and it will bend it so just some advice now when we pull them a little bit we can see which how they come out if they if they will they should be coming out okay this one and now we're gonna put them in the same order by the way this guy you can see and this falls apart, it's like uh, dust now, basically. It's degra degraded, disintegrated completely.
and this one oops i just pressed on it and fall, fall apart i'll show you on the next one so this guy does not have again no padding so let me show you what happens if this is the one i know it out. oops this one even unglued i have to glue this one back it was I think I might be able to pull them all out because they so this one was at the bottom and this side is this way and this one is on the top this one is a little bit tighter this way okay so if i pull this guy it sits pretty tight there we will re-glue back the the key that i'm glued and there is a spring and see how this degrades so i press here and now it, it's coming off and after you press it, it doesn't doesn't come back. So it's all it lost. It's all this um, flexibility and springness. nice to have in, in your workshop you need to have some area where you can disassemble and reassemble instruments by the way there's a lot of that dust going into this so we can uh, so with this selection bassoon just one of this it's three voices according with three voices so you might want to consider also if you're doing this type of job disassemble it actually I'm gonna do that now let's take remove the top that would make more sense because I don't want this dust to get in the inside of the voices prevent myself from extra cleaning okay, this one was tight I usually put those nails in the same order and keep track of which ones go to the back side and to the front side in most cases you don't have to do that it's some in some sometimes they just differ and it's you need to do that and they could differ in the diameter as well as length but in most cases it doesn't matter taking the straps off now we take this guy so we put this aside that looks pretty clean. I think all internals don't look bad at all. This leather valves for the reeds, they stay pretty much intact with um, the surface. So that's good. This is in a good condition. I'm going to put it away in another room. By the way, we're listening some old Russian Bayan players. Those records, I, I downloaded those uh, music from online, and that goes back to like 
World War II time period or 50s maybe. This resona resonators also don't look bad. I mean, again, the leather all intact. I don't see much cracking of the uh, B wax. Th this is what you see here is wax. No visible cracks. Sometimes it might look perfect, but once you touch it and start doing something, it cracks real bad. This this is still soft. By the way, this missing guys. It's not that they fell out, this, let me just make sure, this central part, that's where this mecha me uh, mechanics is. So when you switch, see, like when I put master switch, these guys don't have valves. This part is needed just for the mechanics. Okay. We'll put those aside. Oh. There is one that's bent here. That one will be replaced, obviously. And this this stuff, the white, could be an indication of beginning of this, like a mold or something build up if accordion sits in a higher humidity environment. Okay, so now the little challenge is this guy's sticking out. So if you put it like this, it doesn't want to sit nicely. So for that reason, in that case, I'm using this kind of blocks. I'm not sure even what they are for, maybe for like exercises, but they are, they're lightweight and the surface covered with uh, cork. So you don't, it's very soft, you don't damage instrument and very handy stuff. Anyway, keep moving. The next one. This melody that you hear now, if, I hope you can hear, it's Malanin, Ivan Malanin. He was blind from, he was born blind basically. And he's essentially self-taught accordionist and this is one of his most famous melodies. I'm going to make it a little louder.
you like that melody or the music I'm playing on the background, Those pieces constantly fall out when I grab it, so it definitely needs to replace, change all of them. CD, you might hear the same melody a couple times. Just what I did, I just download the melodies and then I, without listening to them, or I just created the CD and then burn the CD and then listen it in the car or at home, like I'm doing now while I'm working on. So here is another one that's uh, I'm gluing this one needs to be glued back squeeze it a little tighter make some more room And this is how I usually repair. Put some music or a movie and work on it. Enjoy my time. It's like a meditation for me, actually. I really enjoy doing this. And always trying to do it not in a hurry. So you can see here this crap. That's pieces of that material so the next step is vacuuming it and i also do i use the compressed air like for cleaning computers uh, but i do it outside so i'm gonna vacuum real clean real quick and then we'll go with this uh, stuff outside to spray so, vacuum Just a regular brush, it's for cleaning, but I mean I put this right into this because I'm using only only for cleaning by hand.
better for reaching in the corners. Now I'm gonna spray it. Okay, what's next? Let's make sure this is all working. Works nice. Very smooth. Very nice. When it opens, it goes right to the edge. When it closes, it fully closes. That's what you need to check. And it should do it here as well as here. So on this, it slightly should go a little more. Just, just a hair, but that, that's still okay. This guy is nice. And that guy's perfect. So only this one, if it would be adjusted, I don't know if it will be seen. Basically this row is, is fine, but this one, we close the others. When it opens, there is a little bit, um, it should open a little bit more. And probably when it closes, it goes a little bit too more, more than it could. So essentially, everything should be shifted just a hair this way. But that's not a problem. This, this still will, will be working fine and in tune. It's just an adjustment that can be made. Okay. So we're done with this. Let's um, take one of those and Look at it, so there are, I'm gonna put music on this, so. There are different ways that this can be done, the next step. So option one is just clean this surface and glue a new pad with a leather uh, on top of that, okay? Option two is take it, remove that valve from the linkage, clean that area, and then do this, uh, again, glue that piece. And when assembling it, also refill this with uh, wax. And th this is just for decoration, that green piece. I mean, it, it helps holding it, but uh, that wax underneath already hold it pretty well. So, it looks like it's sitting pretty good. I think this wax, not sure if it's the same wax or something a little, feels like the same. Anyway, because of the thickness that's needed, let me show you what thickness is. By the way, I like that they are numbered. They're all numbered, which is real nice. This is number 18. Even if I mix them, I know which one is this. So you can see that thickness here. Let me get those materials. So here is the white uh, felt and this leather, gray leather. This might be a little bit on a, yeah, this is on a thick side. 
So I'm gonna look for something thinner. Cameras. To think this will be too thin. Yeah. I think this would be perfect. Yeah, either this or that. It's 31, 3.3 millimeters, 3.1, a little bit too much. So I think this one is a little bit thicker. Because it's also going to slightly compressed and when I'm measuring it. It, it's difficult to measure this guy basically I can only do like this is the best I can do 100 actually I measure 150 here maybe a little bit thicker than this maybe this one would be the right one this might be the right one Here. The way we're going to check it is this. Before I cut for all of them, I'm going to put back uh, the one that has padding removed, right? That padding is not here anymore. I'll, I'll clean this surface. So for cleaning, I'm using sandpaper. I have a, those plates, aluminum plates, a quarter inch thick. I think it's 12 inches or a little bigger and two inches wide. And I just glue sandpaper on, on both sides. And sometimes just do like this. Grid is 150. I think I'm using 150 grid. Let's say. Should be. No, actually, this this is coarser. This is one, probably 120 or 80. Yeah, this is 80. Grid 80. Oh, now I can feel it start turning. So then, yeah, we will replace those. Now we're going to 150.
Okay. So now we're just gonna measure which I want to understand which uh, which is the best thickness for the padding for the valves. So this one is the first one here. Actually, the numbers. Not sure if the numbers are. Uh, they might not be exactly the numbers I was thinking about. So it's a top axle. Well, this might need to be cleaned a little bit too. So one way to tell which which end goes first is the one typically the one that has either uh, like a a chamfer on it, like a sharp, little sharper, versus the other end which is basically square. Okay. In fact, we can do this. So we can take one that has padding. So I think it's number three. I'll put this one to see if the key, the height of the key is going to be the same as on this, just as a reference. What you're listening now is Shalayev and Krylov. This is a duo, some of my favorite Bayan players. So this one will be skipped one, it's the third one, right there. Okay. Now what we do is this, we put we put this guy under it. This this is a little lower than that. It will go a little bit high once you play it a little bit. Over time, it, it will compress just slightly. Probably this is a little bit too thick. Yeah, this one. This one is better. I think this one is better. It's I can see them from from my angle that the black part of the keys is about the same. Looks the same. Okay. Let's try to show you. I don't know if you can see it, but this this is edge of the keyboard, and then if it's like this it's sticking too much and if when we put it we should we want to make sure that this black is about the same as this so they're all level and that's what 
that's what I'm achieving with this. This is also the duo of playing, and I, in my mind, in this particular recording, this particular melody, it's the best sound of the bayan to my ears. I'll start this one over, uh, put it a little louder. video to be too boring but I'm gonna take them all out clean, and clean them. 